Let's go. So, chapter six. How many chapters? So, in the end, you escaped, hidden on that truck. Yep. What about the shit you told me about not escaping in a truck to prevent pollution? Because the first time, it would have been me behind the wheel. This time, the truck was going to leave, with or without me. Which means the pollution wasn't my fault. How convenient. Fox, do you copy? Wow. Hey, it's the concrete paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> concrete paparazzi. <laughs> Such an asshole. But I like it. How's that escape of yours going? Making progress. I'm currently stowed away in a truck. Communications are hot. You really pissed them off, Fox. I guess we're both gifted with pissing people off. Sorry about the concrete joke, by the way. Nah, don't worry about it. Better to have a sense of humor about being jailed over some concrete blocks. By the way, you haven't seen them, right? I've seen concrete everywhere, Robert. But nothing as big as you mentioned. Ah, well. Send a postcard when you get home, my friend. Definitely. Over and out. The truck stopped at last. Its destination was a small port owned by the clandestine base. Looked like the truck was carrying packages to be transported by sea. As we arrived, I overheard a conversation between the driver and a hangar officer. Are you gonna tell me what the fuck you're bringing me at this time of night? Sir, I have an order to send this load by sea. Fuck! You're waking me up for this? I already told your officer. All maritime operations are canceled. We're waiting for the nuclear warheads to arrive. Oh, and we won't shit. Say anything else until there's a new order. Hold on. You said nuclear warheads? Yes, that's what I heard them say. God save us. That's impossible. You sound just like the Colonel. <laughs> Colonel Harris, are you there? Here I am, son. You sound tense. Are you alright? Where are you? I escaped in a truck. I'm now in a hangar at a port. That's great news. Find a phone and call. Not so fast, Colonel. It's an ex-army port. I'm not safe yet. I have new information about Operation Jericho. Just overheard a conversation. Sounds like they're waiting for... nuclear warheads. Nuclear warheads? That's impossible. Are you certain? That's what I heard. This can't be. You just can't pluck nuclear weapons out of thin air. They're extensively regulated. Is it possible they stole them? Yeah, we don't have any news about any theft in any country. If they were stolen, either a country hid the fact or it happened while I was captive here. Is it possible to build them? These people have a lot of resources. They need radioactive material and it can't be freely obtained. Not to mention, a big lab, and highly skilled people to produce them. Whatever the case, they managed to acquire some. If that's true, son, we're screwed. Hold on, Colonel. I heard something. Crap, they started the engine. I'll call you later. I have to jump out before the truck drives off. Alright, well, hmm. The rear was made in Texas, I just read that. Okay. Hey, Leonard, look! It's the prisoner! Dude, hyper! These guys were Leonard's. Mike doesn't fit engineers. Quick, call for backup. So they get the credit. You stopped streaming? No way. I'm fed up with them making fun of us just because we're engineers. You're right, Leonard. They treat us right, like nobody's because we don't carry a rifle. 
Our weapon is our intellect. To the controls. We'll tell them we saw the prisoner. <laughs> F1 GPN7. Activating radio. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> Dasser. Your engineer. Dasser told Don't him so. Play soldiers with me, okay? <laughs> I won't hurt you. Come on. Let me pass. I'll give you some trading cards. Eat a dick. Fine. I don't know what you have on those computers, but any unsaved work is going to get lost. The saws were controlled by the terminals. I only had to destroy them, and with all the noise in the hangar, a few explosions wouldn't draw any attention. Oh, you go through. Yeah, I but know, I right? Be careful not to <laughs> kill that was the funny. engineers and heal them in case they got injured. Yeah, I got so many. I mean, I got so many. Um. Wait, I got grenades. Shit, I don't have a lot of, a lot of time. Wow. Oh, fuck. Okay, that was, um, shit. Kick L and D. Okay, how about... Okay. I have to kill the nearest first, so... There we go. Danger Noodle. Alright, here we go. Wow, more of them? Oh my god. How am I supposed to kill this guy? Ah, right. oh, shit, I threw it off. What? Oh my god. I, I need more health packs. Son, do you copy? Copy, Colonel. Still in that hangar? Yes, Colonel. Still trying to figure out how to get out of here. By the way, guess what? They have a mini rescue submarine. Rescue? <laughs> These people don't look like they go around rescuing people. I'm getting inside to have a look. Maybe I can ride it out of here. Okay. Well, look at what we have here. Fiddling with the controls, levers, and compartments, I managed to discover the submarine's logbook. It contained details about its last mission, a rescue operation. Now you're the a subhuman. Catch my attention <laughs> first. But this logbook turned out to hold exactly the answers we were looking for. Did you find anything, Fox? I found a logbook with a single recorded mission. It says, Mission, Deep Rescue, Successfully Completed. Return date. Fuck, a week ago. I'll continue reading. Rescue in the Barents Sea. Objective, Submarine K-278 Komsomolets. Damn it. Have you heard of it? Of course. It's a Soviet submarine that sank after catching fire. But I can't think of any connection between these scum and the Soviets. Maybe they're a Russian faction and went to rescue their comrades. 
Or they could be trying to trade the crewmen for Russian nukes or something. Fox, this wasn't a rescue mission. But the log says... The Komsomol it sank over a year ago. There's not a soul alive down there. It's not people they were hauling. It was something else. Colonel, what was the sub armed with? Well, as far as I know, two nuclear torpedoes. Fuck! There it is. The nuclear warheads for Operation Jericho. Kindly donated by the Soviet Union in a game of Finder's Keepers. If what you say is true, they had to bring those torpedoes in by sea and take them to a lab. The whole Comsolots have been contaminated by the radiation, which means they would need a sarcophagus. A sarcophagus? Like the one for Tutankhamun? <laughs> Did you smoke something, Colonel? Don't be an idiot, Fox. A sarcophagus is something that confines radiation, preventing everyone from dying while they transport the goods. It has to be something thick, heavy. Like... Two huge concrete blocks. Fuck, I have to call Robert. Fox, wait. What's up, Colonel? I hear footsteps. Soldiers are walking down the hall. Damn it. I think my time is up. Listen to me carefully, son. The situation is critical. You have to escape as soon as possible and call the Cavalier. Understood? The fate of countless people rests on you, Fox. Colonel Harris out. That was my final communication with Colonel Harris. Damn. Jesse here. Do you copy? I hear you. Fox, looks like you're gonna transfer a prisoner. Someone called Alan Harris. I know. Do you know what they plan to do? No idea, Fox. But looks like the orders are coming from top brass. You're really pissing them off, my friend. Be careful. Maybe they'll use him against you. I'll keep that in mind. By the way, I have something to tell you about your concrete. Don't tell me him. Man, you rock. I don't know where they are, but they've been used as a sarcophagus. A sarcophagus? Like the one for Tutankhamun? Did you smoke something, Fox? <laughs> of course not. I mean a thick container to contain radiation. Radiation? Please tell me they're not nukes. They are, from a sunken Soviet submarine. Shit. That's why there's so much secrecy and surveillance. Cheer up, Robert. Your capture isn't for something trivial anymore. It's for a nuclear arms race. Fuck, fuck, fuck! This news is the bomb! That's a literal <laughs> way to say it. Keep wow. me informed, my friend. I want to know all the deets. I will, Robert. Over and out. Okay, so... Can I... What was my objective? Get out of the hangar, okay. Shit's getting tight, bro. Now the situation is real. I finally located a recycling bin. I've been needing one for a while. Why the hell did you need a recycling bin? To get rid of some stuff. But couldn't you just toss them on the ground? Are you taking me for some sort of shitbag? You were behind enemy lines. It wouldn't be unreasonable. Look, Lieutenant, I don't abandon my principles at the first sign of adversity. <laughs> I see. Now, why did you get rid of items that may be handy later? Because the more stuff you have, the more you're a slave to your own possessions. <laughs> and nothing enslaves me. <laughs> so, I threw away everything that I didn't need. An act that's common to minimalists, such as yourself. Minimalist? Me? Where'd you get that stupid idea? Take a look at yourself. You look angry and disappointed. As if you're having minimalist intercourse. How dare you! <laughs> Relax, Sergeant. It's obvious what Mr. Fox is trying to do. We've been here for a long time. We're tired, even slightly agitated. Mr. Fox is trying to take advantage of that by getting on my nerves with petty insults. Hoping I attack him and provide an officer misconduct charge that enables him to be set free. But that is not going to work, Mr. Fox. Look, I'm used to interrogating assholes like you. Fuck. You got me, officer. <laughs> I underestimated you. Fuck. I have to admit that you're very good. Uh, well, thanks. Wow. I'm, uh, <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, let's continue. You said that you got rid of some items. 
Oh no! Damn. Oh, I guess I won't need them. Okay. Well, I, I got a key. Oh, for what? Is it like the hangar bay? Maybe? Hangar... Or the submarine. We'll try submarine first. It ain't the submarine. Let me grab it. The key didn't fit in the lock. Oh, I had to equip it. Ah, oh, that's dumb. Okay. The key didn't fit in the lock. Hmm. Submarine? There we go. The lock and turning it, the sub started to move. I took the mini submarine through underground channels beneath the hangar. Seriously? Now you can drive mini submarines? Nope. Never done it before in my life. But I found a manual. Can you read Russian? Of course not. It was in English. The mini submarine was American. It was a pretty smooth ride. I didn't have to worry about the battery levels, oxygen, or depth. And the inside was very comfortable. I could practically live in there. Huh. Well, of course. It's an American product. What did you expect? <laughs> of course. Yeah, but you know how American vehicles are. They practically explode on contact. Ever seen an action movie? Anyways, that's why I avoided any hard collisions. Of course. Oh my god. This is great. This is great. <laughs> oh god. Okay, here we go. America. Fuck yeah. Wow. Okay. What the fuck? 50 mini torpedoes? That's great, actually. That's dope. Let me save. torpedoes now okay I'm 
Shit, I'm gonna explode. gonna do this super fast Okay, so we have to perfectly align this. Yeah, there's no way. Ford submarine. <laughs> What the hell? You had to feel lonely, locked in that submarine underwater. Nah, I had to. Oh no! Of course. Fucking boss fight. We have bot wound, guys! Yo, On Onyx, what's up? Looks... Oh look, it's from Mario. Boss defeated. <laughs> Bot wound got really bad, yeah. On American Summit. Now where do I go through? Where am I? Oh, sh okay. Stage chapter seven, boom docks. Dude, how many chapters? I ended up in what looked like a dock. There were containers and stuff. The sea was slightly rough. Oh, and there was a storm. Of course. Of course there was a storm. Oh, why did I use that? Fuck. I just wasted... Eh, yeah, whatever. Okay. Under the rain and the biting cold, the colonel's fate nodded my mind. According to Robert, they were moving him. Was it a routine inspection? Would he be returned to his cell? Would they find the radio? He was an old, annoying, tiresome man. But I feared for his life. Until the radio chimed in. It was channel one. Colonel, what happened? Are you okay? I'm fine, Mr. Fox. Thank you for asking. But my rank is General, not Colonel. Wait, you're General X? 
So, Mr. Fox, have you heard? You've become quite the celebrity. Wow. I've been dying to meet you <laughs> since your debut. So I took this hack job of a radio to call you before your inevitable capture. Where's the Colonel? Don't worry about him. He's in good hands. Say hello, Colonel. Fox, run away! Don't listen to this bastard! Get your hands off me, you fucking moron! Colonel! Seniors say such silly things. I join him in wishing you a happy escape, but you know too much. Sooner or later, you will make a mistake. One that'll prove fatal. We'll see about that, General. Oh my... Wow. They were just road killing, bro. I mean, sea killing, whatever you call it. There we go. So we have bastards with boats. Oh my god. Really? Really? Okay. So I could probably shoot them. Oh, come on. Can't kill. Of course. Oh. Yeah, but you know... Yo, level up, let's go. Medical expert, you can hold four more max million kids. Gag reflect, you said eight guards. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go medical expert, because... Fuck that. <coughs> Like Salix is <laughs> Damn. Buy her. 
This beauty costs fifty million dollars. I doubt you can afford it. Just fifty million? I'm a few dollars short. Hold on, I'm going to the ATM. This escape was going to cost me a lot of money. So I searched in the containers. Why in the containers? Wow. It's how people usually smuggle money. So... Useless stuff. Useless stuff. Useless stuff. Nothing interesting. Useless stuff. Wow. Wait, what? He didn't say anything. Useless stuff. Nothing interesting. Come on. Oh, sh... Ten million dollars. Nothing useful. <laughs> Wait a second. Is that enough? So I actually need 50 million. When I watch you sneak through. Wow, bro. Well, why are you still watching? <laughs> Damn. Those bitches are still. Okay, there's so only one. Ah! Nothing interesting. The hell was that? God, I fuck. Okay. So how much I got? Forty. Nothing useful. Nothing useful. All right. Okay. So I got the 50 million bucks. Wow. And that's how I bought the ship I would finally escape in. Of course. Wow. If only a lightning bolt didn't split her in two. Shit. Why are you giving me back the keys? I want my money back. <laughs> Sorry. No refunds. Shit. Oh my god. That's so dumb. <laughs> All right. Oh. We're getting a boat. Literally for nothing, bro. Hold on. I don't want to waste. Let me still heal though, cause... Once I heal, I'm gonna save. There we go. Well, I got 10 million dollars, bro. <laughs> I 
nothing useful. Come on, of course. Are you telling me oh, that a nuclear submarine attacked you? That's what I'm saying. I see. And now you're going to tell me you fought it instead of running away. Of course. I would have left it alone if it didn't launch its missiles. And nobody launches missiles at me without permission. Wow. Okay. That's why I got so many grenades. Oh, it's one of those. Well, it doesn't do that much damage, at least. Um. Okay. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> No! Come on! Shit! Ah. Imagine if you didn't pick sprint at the beginning. You'd be so fucked right now. No, oh, I thought I was rolling. Also, I just thought about something. Uh, you definitely need to pick the uh, level up for rolling because that you're you're dead, dude. Really? Wait, am I moving? Am I moving slower with the rocket launcher? No, same speed, okay.
No! I was doing good damage though. I was doing good damage. Good. Oh my god. Oh, I got him. What the fuck? Boss defeated. <laughs> my triumph was fleeting. Shit. The platform collapsed after the ballistic abuse from all the missiles. Really, bro? Boss defeated him. She attacked first. Ah, then it was you. Thank you for revealing your position. Oh, shh. Hey, Fox, are you there? Here I am, Robert. Fox, the comms are fucking lit. They're sending everything they have to the docks. What the hell did you do? I just sank a nuclear submarine. That'll teach it not to launch its missiles at me. Are you kidding me? I'm serious. Good thing it wasn't armed with nuclear warheads. They must be saving them for Operation Jericho. Speaking of nukes, hearing a lot of chatter that they're prepping there to the Omega building. Man, if you don't stop them, there's gonna be a worldwide bloodbath. I won't be stopping them. But who else will? I don't care, Robert. Right now, I don't need to be recruited by another colonel to save the world. Right now, I just need to save my ass. And the moment I find anything, even a pull float, I'm getting the hell out of here. Damn. Dude just wants to get out. Oh my god. Base, area is clear. <laughs> Turning to my position. That one guard is looking at me, dude.
Is the area clear? Come on. <laughs> Man, there's still an alert. Come on. Move along. an idea wow wow Holy shit, bro. Inside that hangar, I found what I was looking for. Boats I needed to escape. There was a Zodiac motorboat and a hovercraft. The Zodiac was the faster and more maneuverable choice in the water. But hovercrafts were versatile and could pass over terrain where Zodiacs could not. Bro, always go for hovercrafts. As I checked the hovercraft, I found out that... GSL. Gas leak? What is GSL? I bet when I say key that the key was in it. The key to start the engine was missing. Oh, whatever. As I checked the Zodiac, I found out that... Its gas tank was empty. Well, there we go. I guess we're going with the Zodiac, bro. <laughs> left, left or right to move or to shoot machine and gun. Yo, that's sick. What the fuck? Really? <laughs> wow. Fuck, you can't hit the... See, that's why the hovercraft would have been dope. You know what I'm saying? Should I go find the key? Nah. It wasn't wise to use weapons there. I'm gonna use this. Fuck it. Bro, I'm sneaking. Well, that was something. Boss defeated. Damn, okay. Ooh. <laughs> Here we go.